Discord is being riddled with malware at the moment, and we're going to be talking about that in today's video. Now, before we do, make sure to go and hit the subscribe and like button as it would really help me out. And anyways, let's get straight into the story. So today's story starts with the fact that a security firm released a report last week about Discord. Now, this security firm is a cybersecurity team called Cisco Talos. And this team reported about the fact that Discord is being abused by hackers and attackers to upload stolen data and also malware, which is going undetected. So what is going on and how is this working? Discord has a feature as a communication platform called a content delivery network. And we're going to be referring to that as a CDN for the rest of this video. Now, these CDNs allow you to upload files or images onto Discord, and it's effectively the plus button on the left-hand side of your message bar. And as soon as you upload a file or image onto Discord, what would happen is that it gets stored on Discord servers, and it is also hard-coded into the application, meaning that you can access the file or the image on the app or off the app, with a Discord account or without a Discord account. Basically, the file can be contained and you can access it with or without a Discord account or with or without Discord. So effectively, it is pretty good for hackers in that sense. Now, hackers have seen this and they've also noted about the fact that the link in question to access that file starts with a HTTPS and it's also got the discordapp.com domain. Now, these two things are great for hackers as well because what's happening is that the HTTPS makes malware and virus detection a lot more difficult and the discordapp.com domain makes it also a lot more difficult for people to recognize that it could be a fishy link because Discord is a very reputable company and why would they have viruses or malware on their software? Which doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but because people really don't know that you can upload files onto Discord, a lot of people get caught out. Now they wanted to see the extent to how this is going on. So they did a small file sample and they came up with 20,000 results from that sample showing malware or viruses within Discord files. They also noted that hackers have been using Discord's API to send webhooks and send stolen data via Discord's network, which goes undetected by authorities. And it also means that they can just send it across easily. So with this use of basically the CDN and also the API, hackers are having a field day with Discord, being able to send around malware across Discord as well. So a lot of people are getting malware by clicking on random files on Discord and also being able to send stolen data without it being detected. They're also used in several languages and ransomware is also being used across Discord Discord to steal user IDs and user tokens, allowing hackers to get into other people's Discord accounts and continue with their operations. So with all of this in mind, Discord is kind of getting riddled with ransomware, viruses and malware at the moment by hackers, which isn't a very good thing. Now, I'm going to link this report in the description below, but what can you do to stay safe? Well, first of all, don't click on any files from people that you don't know. Don't open them up, don't do anything, and always check the file name because that is pretty important too. Also make sure that all of your messages from other people are scanned because that is pretty important because you never know if you could be sent a file from somebody that is actually containing malware. Now that's in the privacy and safety settings on your Discord account. And if you're just generally using the websites or that sort of thing and you come across a link like this, you've got to be very careful and assess if it is worth opening that link or not. Make sure you look at everything, make sure you look at the email address, make sure you look up the stuff if you are questioning it. At the end of the day, you could just click on a link. It could download malware or viruses onto your application or your computer and you're, you're screwed at that point. Now, I wanted to make this video as I found it a very interesting story. So that is that. Make sure to stay safe, guys, because this is still going on. And I will let you know if there's any updates about any more information. Now, before you go, please go and join my Discord server and Jets Dream Worlds with the links on screen because we've got active chats and free Discord Nitro giveaways as well. And also make sure to join my Reddit because that is pretty cool. The link's in the description. Anyways, that's all from me. I hope you have an amazing day. Hit that like button and subscribe button and peace out.